two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. And no run back here on the opening kickoff, as we'll start at the 25. against the pass dead last in the NFL number 32 in the league when they lack in pass defense they do make up for in run defense they're a top 10 unit against some people trying to move the ball on the ground but this is a passing league so there's a conundrum for them how do they get better defending the pass meanwhile Burrow's throw caught by Higgins and they work this well up field across the 45 that good for 21 yards on the catch and run Second and 11. This defense for the Steelers much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact. 11, 11, Being able 11. to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized 11, each and every week, and they carried it out. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. I thought at first he'd try to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Burrow. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. And the Steelers are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. If I give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Hands it off out of the gun. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. That's caught inside the 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. DeAndre Hopkins. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Steelers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Here we go, here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than 11, others. 11, 11. 
where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? <laughs> you talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in, he's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Here we go. 11, 11, 11. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's caught. Andre Yoshivas. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Burrow on play action. It's brought in by Harris. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here we go. And Burrow going to throw again. Sliding out of the pocket. And that's going to be incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 12-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. On one, ready? From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. This will be caught at about the six. Touchdown! Andre Yoshibas, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27th. You talk about this Bengals defense. And they find themselves just outside the top 10 in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And while teams don't like to talk about it, they're pretty proud of their rankings. But this ranking is going to be put to the test today because they're going up against a top five. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Steelers send out their punter now. Back deep is Charlie Jones. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. It's taken to the 26. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Up 
on two. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On second down, here's Burrow. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, but 9.9 .9 times out of 10, just missed that one. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Got a man open, it's Chase. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. Tackled there by Jordan Battle. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker 11, 11, on a smaller 11. defender. Yeah, because those right. DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six from Bengals TD. The big boy's big dream right there. He got to rumble and stumble all the way for six. Nothing like big man with football, is there? I mean, that brings people onto their feet every single time. And his dream was answered on that one, wasn't it? It was realized. He picks it off and takes it to the end zone. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, Makes it a lot easier to stay upright, jump, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Hey, Ken, 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 Ken. Nelson, Nelson. Hey. Now it's Fields. And this is going to be incomplete. But he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense the credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. 
And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Here's Jones. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Gun, gun. gun. The Bengals drive about to get going. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here we go, here we go. Ball it to 26, second and seven. They go play action with Burrow. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. First down, Cincinnati. Let's get set. Now a first down carry for Harris. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here 11, around 11, 11, 11. the NFL. First down, and they go back to Harris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Burrow will throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. Here we go. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now it's Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to here continue go, go. to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone oh, open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On one, ready? So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. Stop. Now Burrow. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. Steeler touchdown. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. 
Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. I'm wondering. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And they'll have a little bit of time to work with. 35 seconds until the break. After the pick six, here's Burrow again. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Burrow looking to pass. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here we go. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. Here we go. 11-11-11. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. Open man downfield is Chase. He's got it. That is going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 43 yards. Gun, gun. So how about gun. this for field position Eleven, after the big play? Eleven, inside nine. the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. 12, 12, 12. To the air again, Burrow. Gesicki hauling in the quick throw. Touchdown, Bengals. Mike Gesicki as the first half is winding down. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. The Pittsburgh hey. offense at the line to start their next drive. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. We welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone and only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Hey, kid, 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 and right kid. out of the gate, they face what you'd think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Fields. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. 
We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. 11, 11, 11. Right. Field's going to toss this quickly out wide, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Again, Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. My high school. Here we go. Dahan! On one, ready? Dahan! Let's get set! Dahan! Here we go.
Here we go. 11, Thomas. On two, ready? 11, MP. One, one, ready? 11, 11, 11, up the high! Gun, gun! One, ready? Eleven, five. Here we go. Eleven, eleven. I'm one, ready? Run it back, 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 run it, run it, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, lost everything I ever wanted, want it back, got a problem, never run from you, I fun with that, get the W and then double back. Watch how I react, fight back, stay down. Now we taking off, cut the flight. Promise you, if any, I can't hold me, I can't the right man. Baby, I'm my own hype man. Yeah. Run it back, run it back, run it, run it, uh, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, ooh, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, run it back, run it back. Uh, this time, take a photograph. Run it back, make a total run. Run it back when I total run. I be back, make another back. Ultra, ultra, ultra fast. I ain't with the smoke dash. Run it back, I'm running back. Face back with the shoulder pads. Run it back, watch your back. You think I want it cream, but I like it black. I bought the act yeah. and run it back. And you see how I act, but then I lack. Feeling like a fatal heart attack. I died for that. I, I, I didn't stress about it. I think less without it. I'm a cut at anything that's in my psyche. Feeling myself high key. Run it back, let me have it back. I'm a cut at anything that's in my psyche. Feeling myself high key. Yes, like that, like that, like that. Solo might be right back, right back, right back. Oh, yes, like that, like that, like that. I yeah, told might be right back, right back, right back. Run it back, run it back. Told him put the money in the back. Double that. Run it back, run it back. Told him put the money in the back. Double that, double, double that. Run it back, run it back. Run it, run it, run it back. Run it back, run it, run it, run it back. Run it back, run it, run it, run it back. Run it back. Run it back, run it back. In the truck with his body tag. Punch the gas, run it to the future. I'm done with that, but if I need to, then I'm coming back. Yeah, that's a fact. I got 
we got London on the trip. Whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's the made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. Yeah, whole club selling out of here to doing stadiums. Small business don't come around, they don't survive my radius. All I talk about, and that's what really made me rich. Hustling, that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich the whole club. Aye, aye, aye. Too white to be shooting in the eyes. I'm sleeping good at night. See the door don't got no locks. Lots. To be spiteful, she best friends with the ops. And that you, that you, that you, you need better stocks. Hey. Standing on my money, dog. Please don't get the involved. Ain't nobody running off. Rules to the basics. I can't be no son in law. I can't take the summer off. I make it look good and all, but this is no vacation. All the goons, they respect me and I know. Watch your words and your tone, you're not a part. My advice, please don't try to be wrong. 